this one could go great or terribly wrong. I could literally be making this video to blab at some point in the future, but I'm here confident and I'm not predicting who will win the Euros. I still believe, as I predicted before the Euros even kicked off, the Germans. I was going to say something wrong, but I'll just say the Germans. The Germans would do it. I'm believing so. And how will they do it is what we'll get to. <laughs> we get to the quarterfinal stage. It's been a, I don't want to say a great tournament. Some games have been boring and then others have been quite entertaining. I enjoyed Austria versus Turkey the most. Out of all round of 16 games, that was the most thrilling game for me. Spain, but we knew Spain were going to do it, right? Goals are nice to watch, good to see, but I think in terms of tactical execution, I enjoyed Austria and Turkey. But yes, let me just give one quick, quick one. My round of 16-11, yes, in goal, Diogo Costa cannot be denied. Left back, I personally went for a Nathan Ake because Ake plays it for Man City and he's playing a back three for Netherlands but I think he deserves it. William Saliba alongside is Merhi Demiral. Demiral scored a brace guys for Turkey. Brace from defense <laughs> and then right back um, even though Portugal were a bit like Lasta they didn't take their chances. I loved how Joao Cancelo played the game at all at large and he had a great 91 20 minutes midfield undeniably rodri for getting spain back at 1-1 and then just cruising through the rest of the game honestly that guy that guy is crazy man and alongside him granite capitan granite jacker shining for switzerland game in game out musial and the cam roll we're not going to give Jude Bellingham for one moment of brilliance when he ghosted the rest of the game, but I'm not criticizing Bellingham as a player. I just feel that Musiala is in the game the whole time versus others that show up in moments. I'm just saying, y'all. Left wing, I'm going to go with Vargas. Switzerland's Vargas. That goal was amazing. And his overall play, very good for the team. Team effort has gotten Switzerland to this point as much as they've been quality, honestly. And then Netherlands definitely have to show face in this team. So the remaining spots we shall give to Daniel Marlon at right wing. And Cody Gakpo can take the striker role because he's been lethal in those striker positions. And Gakpo is just, an, it's like he's an international stage player. He loves it. He's thriving. So let me know your thoughts on my 11, guys. Uh, <laughs> it's a crazy one, I know. And there are a lot of positions where y'all could kill me. I think the most undeniable is Diogo Costa, though. Yeah, Diogo Costa done cooked, y'all. So let's get into it now. The daring part, right? How will Spain beat Ger How did... Oh. <laughs> I, I, I was about to uh, commit what they call blasphemy. How will the Germans beat Spain? Spain have conceded one goal in this tournament. And it's been an own goal by Le Normand who recently signed for Atletico. The Germans are not going to sit back. The Spanish are not going to sit back. I'm thinking every other tactical game at the Euros has been tense and boring, but this tactical battle will see goals, I believe. And I think a 2-1 or 3-2 is possible if it ends in 90. If not, we're going straight to penalties and the hosts get to feel their first most tense moments um but if i'm to be as bold as to give a scoreline prediction germany to spain one yeah that, that's that's just me <laughs> and then portugal france that's a repeat of the 2016 euro final portugal's shooting boots are weird it's not that they don't make chances but they don't convert but guess what? Who else is like that? France. France is shooting boots. They needed Kolo Mwane to come on and shoot, get a deflected shot off Vitongen. And that was the goal that put them through to the quarters against Belgium. Hey, Lukaku. Golden boot for VAR disallowed goals. But yeah, um, oof, guys, I'm going to say France make it through. And Germany versus France is crazy before we even get there. But Germany versus France, wow. 
<laughs> yeah. And then Netherlands versus Turkey. I see an upset. I see an upset and I think it goes to penalties. And I think Turkey go through. And the English versus the Swiss. <laughs> Now, if you watch, if you watch English creators, right, the, the James Alcott's, Rory Jennings, and uh, and the likes, these men get England far. These men see England going far. Funny thing is, I don't see England going out at this stage either. So I am gonna put England through to face Turkey in the semis. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> and then France versus Germany. Thing is. I- you guys know what who my predicted winner is. So it's boring. It's boring. But I'm going to give a scoreline prediction. Penalties, 4-3 to Germany. Is that, I don't know where that came from. I just, I'm sticking with it regardless though. And then we have Turkey versus the English. <sighs> I actually think England will make the final. They just, they just have this luck. They just have these moments that they they do it. I mean, of course, I would love England to to not make it to the final. No, not that I'd love it, but I wouldn't mind them going home as early as now against Switzerland. But somehow, in my predictions, they're making it to the final against the hosts. And usually, when the hosts are there in the final, the hosts lose, eh? But not the Germans. One nil Germany versus England in the Euro 2024 final. If you feel it's going to go the same way, it probably will. 